hello everyone welcome back once again to a fierce kitchen my friends and family cook i believe the grace of god is keeping us and we are all doing well today i'm sharing with you how to make this delicious palm nut soup recipe this has assorted meat and fish and i know you are going to love it and you are going to make it for you and your family let's get right into the video so i usually parboil the meat because i don't know the process through which the meat has gone through to get here so i do this to get rid of any kind of germs you pour water on your meat and bring it to a boil and then you pour the water and rinse the meat beautifully before i go in with the rest of my ingredients I will then go in with my onions, tomatoes and tomato paste. I will list everything in the description box so you can check it out later. For the rest of the marinade, I have some onions, ginger, cloves, rosemary, red habanero pepper and then garlic. I will go ahead and blend them and then pour it over our meat. I will rinse my blender with some water and then pour it over our meat again. And I will season with salt and one shrimp stock cube. And you can always season to your taste. I will then cover and allow this to cook for about 20 minutes. So this is after 20 minutes. I will then give this a good stir and allow it to cook until our meat is halfway tenderized or our base is nicely cooked. On the side, I'm going to start prepping the most important ingredient for our soup and that is our palm nut paste. Into my clean cup, I'm going to add my palm nut paste and then I will add some hot water to be able to dissolve it into a very smooth texture. Halfway into mixing it, I realized that the cup was very small so I had to switch to a bigger bowl. And be sure to mix this with hot water so you don't get your whole place looking so messy and sticky. And after mixing it, you should get something like this. Back to check on our soup and you can see that oil has settled beautifully on top of our base. And this is an indication that our base is nicely cooked. So at this point, I'm going to transfer our palm nut mixture into our soup pot. And when you are pouring it over, be sure to check the bottom of the plate so you don't end up pouring everything into the pot because usually there are some black particles which are from the palm kernels that settles at the bottom of the bowl i will then get my tomatoes and onions out of the pot blend it and pour it back into the soup we are not straining anything here because we want every fiber in our soup At this point, I will go in with all my fish. I have some oven baked mackerel and I have some smoked fish as well. And then goes in my mushrooms as well. Yes, my people, we have a little bit of everything in the soup and trust me, it was so good. I will then fill my soup pot with enough water to your preference. I usually prefer my soup very light and watery. So you add in the water according to how thick or how light you like your soup. I give it a good stir and allow this to cook gently for 20 more minutes. After 20 minutes, I go in with some freshly grated ginger and this really helps to take the stink and the stench that comes with the fish. Yeah, the soup smells really, really good. Trust me on this one and you need to try this if you have never done it before. 
when the soup is almost done i go in with some kale kale doesn't get so soft quickly so when you're adding it to your soup be sure to add it on time so it can become so soft just like the spinach would do and here we are our soup is ready to be served and enjoyed i tried to skim off some of the oil from the soup but it's totally optional if you want it so such and a cornelicious and tantalizing you can leave the oil on top of your soup but for health reasons i decide to skim off some of the oil yes my people if you have watched me till this time thank you so much and god richly bless you for the love and support and you can enjoy the soup with your rice with your fufu with some boiled yam, some emutio rice balls, anything you can think of. So I come here again in the next video. Keep safe and don't forget to keep your little light shining. Bye. If yes, kitchen, dead, 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 dead. So tasty.